Omen. But here to react to what we heard from Secretary Blinken is Morton Klein, national president of the Zionist Organization of America. Uh, standing by, Morton, I know we have again talked now about this ceasefire between Israel and the Palestinians, or should I say Israel and Hamas at this point. Are you confident that this could remain? The last time we had a ceasefire in 2014, the Hamas violated it 10 times. Mm. I'm not confident because only yesterday, the two leaders of Hamas, Marzouk and Sinwar, publicly said, our goal is to destroy Israel. Imagine, they now want aid from the world and they're saying, our goal is to destroy Israel. And Sinwar said, what you saw we do to Israel was just a dress rehearsal. It's going to be worse next time. So their goal is Israel's destruction and their charter, the Hamas charter that exists now, Article 7 calls for the murder of every Jew and Article 12 calls for the destruction of Israel. So no, I'm not confident about a ceasefire and however long it holds, peace with the Hamas terrorists is impossible because their goal isn't peace, it's Israel's destruction and murdering Israelis and Americans. The Palestinian Authority has a law that pays Arabs to murder Americans and Jews if you kill an American or a Jew, you get a lifetime pension, and th that has to be changed. Yeah, Morton, if, if you don't mind just standing by, I just want to bring our viewers the latest now. We should be able to connect with Sarah Williamson live for us uh, in Israel right now, and then we'll have Morton react. Sarah, what's the latest from where you're reporting in Jews Jerusalem? Well, we have seen some relatively tense calm throughout the country since the ceasefire went into effect with a number of minor flare-ups inside Israel, testing the stability of the region and really raising concern for, for further escalation among the political echelons, not just here in Israel, but also in the US, in Egypt and with Hamas, who have already resumed their threats against the Jewish state. Now, Hamas chief Yahya Sinwar is warning that any Israel aggression towards the Al-Aqsa Mosque will result in a reaction from Hamas that has obviously had Israel readying for an escalation. Now, uh, senior Israeli Defence Force officials have told Hebrew media that at the moment the ceasefire with Hamas uh, is extremely unstable and IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kahavi is also warning that the IDF is already preparing for their next campaign in Gaza. Now, these messages obviously don't look good in the eyes of the US. And during Antony Blinken's visit to Israel, he warned that moving forward with the eviction of those Palestinian families in Sheikh Jarrah, which is an extremely contentious area, could spark renewed tension, conflict and war. That was his quote. Also adding that it undermines the future prospects of a two-state solution here. But where I am now in Damascus Gate is the closest entry point to Al-Aqsa Mosque. Where, around, where thousands of Palestinian citizens of Israel have been entering for Friday prayers. And in just a few hours from now, evening prayers will commence. And it is after that, after they have concluded, that any type of tension does arise here in the area. So at the moment, things are tense but calm. We have an extremely heavy police presence. But the, the area is volatile and could erupt at any moment without warning. All right. Sarah Williamson, live for us in Jerusalem. We appreciate that reporting. Sarah, stay safe. Thanks so much. All right. Back now with us is Morton Klein to react. Uh, and Morton, to hear Sarah's reporting there, again, she's saying it's at the time calm despite some minor flare-ups, but a very tense situation here. Uh, talk to me about maybe the feelings that people who live in that area constantly face knowing that there could be rocket fire or attacks coming their way. Israelis I spoke to yesterday mm. told me that Abbas, the head of the Palestinian Authority, has said no Jew should be allowed to be on the Temple Mount. What kind of peace is that? That's Judaism's holiest place. Uh, he has publicly stated that the Jews are attacking the Al-Aqsa Mosque, a total lie. And he has publicly stated to the Arabs, make sure your bullets hit their Jewish targets. So the Jews are very afraid that the Palestinian Authority leader is inciting violence. And when it comes to the eviction, these are Arabs who for years have not paid rent. The owners of the apartments went to court. The court said if they don't pay rent, you can evict them. That's all. That has nothing to do with the fact they're Arabs. If the Jews weren't paying rent, they would be evicted. 
they've used this as a phony pretext to attack Israel, uh, as, as they've done regularly. And remember, the issue is not statehood. As Blinken says, we need a Palestinian state. The Palestinian Arabs have been given, offered a state in 1937, in 1948, in 2000, 2008, for at least four times. They've turned it down every time because there's a clause in those deals that says you must accept Israel as a Jewish state. They won't do it. The issue is not a state. It is not land. The issue is Israel's existence. That's why nothing has worked. And that's why the Israelis are so worried uh, about the future uh, with the Palestinian Authority and with Hamas, who, by the way, are both genocidal apartheid regimes. They say they will not allow any Jew to live in any future Palestinian state. Uh, uh, and that they and they have laws that if you sell land or a home to a Jew, you get capital punishment, you get killed. They're the genocidal state. They're the apartheid state, not Israel. Mm. We know during the 11-day uh, conflict, we saw uh, hundreds of fatalities, both Palestinians and uh, several Israelis as well. And of course, we did see destruction. Uh, now we're learning that the UN's Rights Council wants to investigate crimes during the Gaza conflict, specifically uh, what they describe as systemic abuses in the occupied Palestinian territories and Israel as well. Has there been a response from uh, Israeli officials? Yes. Israel says there's been two. First of all, Hamas, who you can't trust, claimed there's been 200 uh, Gaza Arabs who were killed. 140 have been terrorists, 140. The other 60, almost all of them, are from Gaza rockets that didn't reach Israel, that landed in Gaza, killing their own people. So there have been very, very few uh, uh, deaths of Arabs. And this is a war. Uh, so Israel is the most moral army in the world, doing everything to protect uh, lives, while Hamas is launching 4,300 missiles to have massacres of thousands of Jews. If it wasn't for the Iron Dome, you'd have thousands of Jews murdered. Uh, so these are horrific lies from a terrorist regime backed by Iran. Uh, mm. And uh, Iran is not only providing money for them, but Iran is the one who provides the rockets and the missiles, which are smuggled in from the Sudan through Egypt uh, into Gaza. Uh, mm. uh, so the world has to begin to tell the truth about this Hamas, Islamic, Palestinian Authority war against Israel. Their interest is not a state. Their interest is not peace. It's Israel's destruction. All right. That's Morton Klein joining us live on National Report. Morton, we appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time.